In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a model of an open barrel look like it's full of coins. It's very similar to a tutorial I did recently where I filled a chest with coins. And in that tutorial, I went into a bit more detail about the rigid body physics. In this tutorial, the main difference is that I use layers to help deal with having so many coins. Open the model made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. To make a false bottom, I'm going to go into edit mode, into edge select mode, hold down the alt key to select a ring of edges, press E to extrude immediately followed by enter, press S to scale and shrink down, press zero and enter, scroll down and remove doubles and you should remove 31 vertices. To add a gold coin, go into object mode, add mesh cylinder, add a new material and call the new material gold, and set the color to be a yellowy gold color. Click the object button, name the object coin, and set its Z location to two, and it's Z scale to 0.1. Press S to scale, press 0.2 and enter. There are going to be hundreds of coins. To manage that, I'm going to put the coins in a separate layer. With the first coin selected in the object menu, move to layer and click the second layer. Now, if I choose the second layer, the coin is the only thing in the second layer. If I hold down shift and select the first layer, we see the contents of both layers. Next, set up the physics. Open up the Rigid Body Tools panel. Scroll down and with the coin selected, click Add Active. Change the shape to Cylinder. Select the barrel, click Add Passive and change the shape. The barrel is a concave object, so choose Mesh. Pressing play, we have a problem as the coin goes through the false bottom. But if I duplicate the coin, and I'm going to use Duplicate Linked, which is Alt and D, because I don't want to duplicate the mesh data each time. Alt, D, and Enter. Now if I press play, the problem goes away. Click Rewind and select the second layer. Now if we look in the Outliner window, we have two coins. They are the only thing in the layer, so pressing A on the keyboard twice selects all. Hold down Alt and press D to duplicate and press Enter. And now we have four coins. A twice, Alt, D and Enter and we have eight coins. A twice, Alt, D and Enter and we have 16. Change the view to orthogonal. Change the view to the top view. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. Drag on the tip of the green arrow and while dragging, enter a displacement of 0.3 and enter. Drag on the tip of the red arrow and enter a displacement 0.3 and enter. Hold down Alt and press D to duplicate and enter. Drag on the tip of the green arrow and enter a displacement of minus 0.6 and enter. Press A on the keyboard twice. Alt, D and enter. Drag on the tip of the red arrow and enter a displacement minus 0.6 and enter. We now have 64 coins. Change the view to the front view. Press A on the keyboard twice. Alt, D and Enter, drag on the tip of the blue arrow and enter a displacement, minus 0.1 and Enter. A on the keyboard twice, Alt, D and Enter, tip of the blue arrow, minus 0.2 and Enter. We now have 256 coins. Hold down Shift and select the first layer. Click Play. Now, Blender will not allow rigid body objects to occupy the same space. A lot of the coins occupy the same space, so as Blender moves them apart, we get an explosion of coins. Some of the coins miss the barrel, 
but enough go in to give us a coating of coins. Click jump to last frame, select the second layer, change the view to the front view, select a coin, press B for B select and select all the coins from the top of the barrel. In the select menu select the inverse and press X to delete all the coins not at the top of the barrel. Select a coin, B select, hold down shift and press D to duplicate. Press enter, G to grab, X for the X direction, 3 and enter. And click jump to first. The original coins have gone back to their original positions, but the duplicates haven't. Select an original coin, press B for B select, select them, X to delete them, press A to select all, G to grab, X for the X direction, minus 3 and enter. I want to remove the physics from the coins, but the option is not available. Select a coin, press B for B select and select all the coins. Now the option is available. I want to put the coins back into the first layer. In the object menu, move to layer and select the first layer. Select the first layer. I want to make the barrel the parent of the coins. Hold down shift and select the barrel. Hold down control and press P and set the parent to object. I want to remove the physics from the barrel, select the barrel and remove. The properties window has become linked to the timeline window. To overcome the problem I'm going to drag on the white diagonal lines to expand the properties window, click the object button. I didn't give the barrel a meaningful name, I'll do that now. To append the barrel and the gold into a pirate treasure scene, we need to group them all together. Press B for B select. In the object menu, group, create new group. Give the new group a meaningful name, barrel gold. And file, save as, and I'm going to call my file gold tut 14. File New, I'm moving the cube to the side, ready to append the barrel into the scene. File Append, go to the folder where you have your file saved, select the file to go into it, go into the Group folder, select the group and append. Change the render to Cycles and change the shading to Material. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.